welcome back Airbnb family. Last video, I taught you how to talk to landlords on getting them to let you use their property for Airbnb. This video, I'm gonna teach you how to find them and make initial contact so that way your success rate will be high. Let's get into it. So welcome back. Here we are at actually one of my Airbnb properties in Houston. You might recognize it from a previous video I did on why you should set up multiple properties at the same time. Quick announcement, we're doing a, a giveaway where you can enter to win a free consultation from me where I will actually review a listing of yours, do a report on what you can improve and where you're strong, and then do a 15 minute follow-up call with you on how to properly plan and improve that listing. So that is in the description below. Click the link and enter to win. So. Let's get into the topic, which is finding and contacting landlords. The reason why I want to do this video is because a lot of you have sent me messages or left comments about ideas that you've had for contacting landlords now that you're more confident on that discussion. And there's a couple things that you are thinking of doing that are bad, and I want to address those initially. One of you wanted to uh, send out a mailer, right? The idea was to send mail to about 50 houses. Now, the tenants are going to get these first off, so the decision maker is not going to get that mail. Um, unless the decision maker lives there, which you know, then you're trying to convince a homeowner to turn their house into an Airbnb and move out, right? So that's one thing. But second, there's a there's actually a big problem with this type of mass-produced marketing. The thing is, is that you're going to set a first impression, and first impressions matter so much with stuff like this. You might be the first person to ever discuss with somebody Airbnb or short-term rentals, and if you want to do that with a mailer, it's going to look really cheap and really cheesy. Plus, a phone call where you get too, into too much detail, where you're like, hey, this is what I do, let me talk to you on the phone. The cold calling and going through the whole thing on a phone call is also a really bad idea because you're not really in control of that first impression, right? So what you want to do is you want to do a couple of things. You can either call homeowners or landlords that are renting out their properties and soft close them, like I said in the last video, which is just convince them to meet you and don't go into detail on the phone so that way you can actually do a better job of convincing them that way or you start networking. And like I said in the previous video, real estate agents, they, they know these homeowners, they know these landlords and they know which ones are most likely to kind of work in your favor. Now, if you're playing the long game, you're going to be networking with many real estate agents, possibly even brokers, and those brokers will help you trickle down into the agents, and you start, you're going to start building out this long-term relationship strategy where as people are getting into home ownership for the sake of you know, making money with rentals, you could be in front of them helping mentor them on good strategies for homeowners to become landlords and because they look at you as a valuable resource they'll be open-minded to take their first property and give it to you right so that's the long game here the moral of the story on this is that you want to have a quality initial interaction you want to make sure that that initial interaction doesn't leave a bad taste in someone's mouth because not only are you going to screw up your ability to Airbnb at that one property, that landlord is going to talk to other landlords and share his opinion or her opinion. And your brand is not what you tell people your brand is. Your brand is what everybody else says about you when you're not around. That's who you become. So make sure you're in control of that information that you give out. Make sure that every time you're talking about your business, you look crisp you sound good, you, you look like a high integrity individual, and that you look like you're worth doing business with. So focus on high quality interactions, don't put out too much too soon, don't put the cart in front of the horse, play the long game, build some relationships, and you'll have a decade or two of a rental relationship with a landlord who will give you many properties to come. And one good relationship with somebody who's willing to put millions of dollars down on property is the one you want. So use that information to be successful, if you have any questions, comments, I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching Airbnb Automated.